I don't like how I, I material things are truly not important to your quality of life. Agree. I, I, I really think I, I want to hammer yes that home no. before I say this. Yes. But at the Have same you ever time, driven a singer. Or? There, there <laughs> is, there is something weird happening now where you're supposed to be ashamed of success. Yes. In a way that I don't like. Um, and I, and I really like what I really love is um, my my Armenian friends because they don't subscribe yeah, they don't to that. Give a fuck. They're like <laughs> or Persians. Bro, bro yeah, my friends, my Armenian. father, my grandpa, or my yeah. grandpa move away from Armenia, come here to Turks, kill his family. I drive Mercedes. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, gold chain. <laughs> fuck you. I love that because yeah. it's like no, you're right. Yeah. You know what? You fucking your family worked your ass off to develop wealth. Be proud of it. They're, you're, they're entrepreneurial. They're yeah, they tight. celebrate yeah, but, but, it. And I, and, I, and I subscribe to that because, you know, when I post my car or a bike or something like that, the older heads, you wrote, you got your, Delia is a little bit with me, but the, my, my peers, my, the older guys who are my best friends, Rogan would say, never post your car. Never, yeah. ever post any of that. Don't let people know how well you're doing. But I subscribe to a different younger generation where, mm. They came. They're seeing they, it. They as came a, with me on the journey yeah. where I was this fighter where I couldn't afford anything, and but I started a podcast, and they came with me on the ride. So when I post stuff of that, they go, "Oh fuck yeah, dude!" Because they know what went into getting right. It. No, absolutely, absolutely. So and it's I, almost like, "Hey, check it out. We did it." I agree with yeah, both yeah. schools too. Where I where I think I get like, both sides. I don't. Yeah. I, I agree. The older heads like, in a in a country where there's there's plenty. There's obviously a. a division in income and and you know it can be insulting yeah. it can be insulting to people i understand that totally but what i don't understand is how that can be translated into you should be bashful or ashamed of the fact that you're Agreed. successful i i was uh, i did a tv show for a long time but pilot didn't get picked up but they flew me to um we filmed it in belfast it was fucking amazing belfast I had a free, Northern free Ireland. uh trip to belfast it was great so we film it there and um the the network flew me first class you know and i'm not I'll be honest. I, I will not fly first class unless someone else pays for it. But uh, I was like, this is. I'm like, wow. Well, you know, uh, they 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 seat you first, right, in first class. I feel right? ashamed. And as as the first people started to come on the the plane behind me, I, say, Don't I was touch me? I was seriously like, oh no, I feel horrible. <laughs> and I thought to myself as I was flying, you know, the, it's a long flight. Halfway through, I was like, wait a second. Would Don Draper have been ashamed? of sitting in first class you know it would where did that go where i i assume in 1965 a man in a business suit sitting in first class a guy comes down the aisle with his child and he goes someday you yes. work hard you could be like him yeah. whereas now it's like i know let me hit my kid and go fuck, fuck that, that guy, guy. Fuck you know that guy. Yeah, and that's we, weird but, but but i think it's a, a society issue where like that should be inspiring like when right. i see kevin hart post something or the rock post something or uh you know anybody anybody tom segura you Bert can too. when you i can see it too. it's like mm. that's possible yeah. dude. so can like you. like every podcaster should find what rogan did where he made way more money than reporting that should be so inspirational for everyone no one should always a sell it that doesn't make sense you should find <laughs> that so yeah. inspirational that you go holy fuck, that's possible in podcasting right yes and people for the past five years have been making fucking bank podcasting me and brian are two fucking morons and we make a good living doing this yep. without you two mm. you guys two are our best friends we're getting paid for this it's crazy yeah and because we decide to do the show that should be inspiring to everyone who watches it yeah. but, but me and brian aren't the smartest guys in the room by far man i'm a fucking moron with ct <laughs> but people should find that stuff inspiring right Not hate it's a, it, I, I, yeah. I don't see. I it's don't see framing. someone when they post this a house. This country was founded on that idea of potential. Like you may not be a millionaire today, but you will be tomorrow, which has stopped revolution from happening in this country. Yes. As long as we protect that American dream, as long as we protect the idea that if you use your ideas and if you are innovative and if you take risk, that's a huge part. If you take risk, the risk, preach. If you take the risk and you have the fucking effort mm -hmm. and you're willing to fail a lot, you can make it. Yeah, and that's kind hope, of like, you and you, that's when you can get to be 53 and. Do you know what I mean? But, but the I point is, right now we're at a low point. Yeah. But, we're at a low point, but we're going to get back up. We're going to back I up. I challenge anyone. Me and Brian are over there about three times a week. Go by SpaceX and and f not find that inspiring. Right. With the yeah. rocket ship and the, all this stuff, and it's it's in the hood. Yeah. And you know what he did with just his lot of land, the buildings, the parking, 
the greenery, the ficuses, the spaceship, drive over there <laughs> and not get inspired. <laughs> yeah. By <laughs> Elon Musk, who, you know, there's a ton of astronomical engineers, where the fuck he is. There's a ton of those guys. But he took risk, man. It's about he, he went, you know what? This is an issue. I'm going to try He's and still solve taking risks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. He's still, he's yeah. still but, but the people don't realize that when you look at a business, somebody started a business and they got really successful. Uh, and people, you hear a lot of the stuff like the workers should share in the profits and they should get just as much. Uh, the worker didn't take the risk, guys. When you create a company from an idea, when you come up with an idea and you build a company around it, the amount of energy that goes into that the amount of fires you have to put out every single day and financial the, the, the financial the, but mainly the risk i actually don't know anybody who's made a lot of money who wasn't poor at one point who right. didn't who didn't lose it all yes. at one point so you know you're always riding that balance you're always taking that risk and it, it, people that are willing to change and and f go with the flow and adapt adapt you've got to learn how to change your fucking approach but I'll, but also say this it's uh, it's also i would i would assume with elon musk with anyone who's made any sort of amount of money they didn't do it because they thought they're I, I don't think elon musk decided to make tesla or you know that weird underground thing which we we the, you know it's called a subway but so, he yeah. wants to put cars in it that's fine subway but um i don't think he's he started any of that or we didn't start the podcast or rogan didn't start the podcast and goes oh i'm gonna make this amount of money this uh, millions in the future no one no one started because of that right no one and no one who any of the aforementioned people especially who are doing something really different none of them uh, i'm sure a lot of us in this room included had anybody going great idea go for it never no i guarantee you there was a bunch of comic friends of joe rogan's that were going what are you wasting your time on? Like, go do TV. Brian, and he's like, no, I really hold enjoy on, it. Hold on. <laughs> and and I, 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 I was there. Brian, how many of your friends made fun of you for doing the podcast with me? Oh, my God. How many of your friends I, I shit lost on friends me over because it. you were doing podcasts? Yeah. And the best part is, go, yeah. Brian, what are you doing? Buddy? Yeah. And I go, dude, I'm telling so you. So many of my friends, all my friends, all my friends are like, <laughs> what are you doing this All his actor buddies would roast me. We'd yeah. get not there, making like, any money. You guys are talking about dumb shit. They would take me yeah. to the side. I'm like, what are you doing this with Brian? This is a waste of time. One of my friends said, you're two 11-year-olds in a treehouse. What are you doing, dude? You should be acting. You should be on TV. I guarantee. I, like, I guarantee. You, you go down the list. Yeah. Elon Musk, uh, uh, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, any genre of any type of business where people are innovators. They had a litany of people going, uh, yeah, I mean, we like the idea, but um, could you tweak it this way? And maybe do a little less cussing, not not so much violence. And, and it's like, no, this is my vision. I'm going to stick to it. And after 10, 15, 20 years of getting hearing no, 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 they finally make it. And all those people are like, it's a great idea. We've been pretty yeah, much yeah. Been thinking that way You're the like, whole time. <laughs> you know, there's no, I, I like the the number one idea that comes in, into my mind is like how many people told um, Matthew Weiner, I think his name is the guy behind the creator of Mad Men. Yeah, Matthew Weiner. I mean, a legendary collection of no's, no's, no's. We'll get the production started and finally they pull the plug. All these different networks, all these different people, all they, they wanted to change, change, change. And finally he's like, no, I'm going to stick him and, and this obscure AMC, which nobody watched at the time, decides to take a chance on it. And then, of course, once it hits big, every fucking, every network's doing the 1960s yeah. uh, Madison Avenue fucking mm. New York City skinny tie show. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Style. of course, yeah. So we've, we've known all along, this yeah. is the way to go. It's fucking bullshit, it, but it makes you laugh. I mean, I, I love the stories you, you guys always tell about the Fox execs where it's like, this is what you need to do to be successful in a podcast because <laughs> well, I got no, my black belt in broadcast. But also, they all got fired, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, like and most of them work for a zone, which is also good. Yeah. Yeah. And not only that, though, but a lot of people said no one's keeping. They were like, you know, you gotta you gotta sign with this group because they'll own fifty percent of it, but they'll get you. And Brendan was like, no, 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 we're gonna own all of it. Yeah, we'll just bet on ourselves. We'll just figure it out. So so much of that is just being willing. To That's the loan story, you know the right. Stallone Rocky story. Yeah, I mean, it's it's no really an amazing, it. almost unreal, beautiful story. That yeah. idea that he had so much money thrown his way, this relatively unknown guy, and they're like, <clears> "We'll <throat> buy the story. We'll make the movie. Yep. You'll get a production credit. We're gonna cast someone else." Though he's like, "No, no, I'm Rocky." Yeah. I'm Rocky. That, that's, that's a yeah. mindset that's followed but, him but, all the way but through. But think LeBron James too. It's I think uh, la or yesterday was his anniversary signing with Nike. Before he signed with Nike, when he was a senior in high school coming out, Reebok went up to him. That the guy who owns Reebok goes, "Here's ten million dollars, but don't talk to any other shoe company." And in a year, we're gonna we're gonna sign you a deal. And he had his mom and he him had came nothing. from nothing. Yeah. 
no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Reebok, no, nah, I'm not going to. 10 million, which would change his life, goes, I'm not going to do that. The reports are he signed a billion dollar deal damn. with Nike. <laughs> God damn! I would. I could use. <laughs> I could billion, use that right billion. now. Yeah. It's a, you, listen. First hey, off, you'll be fine. Spotify. If you want to buy this, <laughs> dude. I, let me just say, I, dude. Not, let's be subtle. Spotify, give us a number. <laughs> give me a call. I'm saying. You got a man right here who could maybe help you out a little bit. I don't know many 53-year-olds in good a shape as you with Thanks, the kind buddy. of fucking thick cock you got. This, I like where your head's I'm at. I'm thinking a little yeah, porn love back. What? Maybe yeah. call Brazzers. Fans, fans, only, fans only. Old man rinks. Oh, man. Real porn. Nice. I'd, wa- I'd never stop watching <laughs> Brian Callen porn. Thank you, buddy. I just talk, you're just talking. You're like, oh, let's, yeah. us, we're, we're talking we're politics. Revolution. <laughs> Look, you, you guys got great delts. Oh, <laughs> fly, fly away. That's why. It's not you. Yeah, you like look my okay, hair with looks, that look, hat on. With that hat on. Brandon, Brandon makes fun of my hair, but I think it looks good. It's <laughs> nice. Frames my face. Dropping right. finding the kid lines this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay, what's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.